Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called Exploring Justice. I've had the opportunity to look for justice in many ways. Let's look at three different types of justice, the political way, the cultural way, and the personal way. The political way. I've done it the political way by participating in the local and national March for Life events. At both places, I shared my testimony publicly inside the Rotunda at the Minnesota State Capitol in St. Paul, Minnesota, and on the steps of the United States Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. During the time that I went to Washington, D.C., I was there with a national organization called Silent No More Campaign Awareness. I was part of a small group of people sharing our abortion testimonies. I participated in sharing my testimony at the National Youth Rally. The next day, I attended the National Memorial for the Unborn Service, which was held at the United States Senate Building. There was a conglomeration of leadership there. Some were leadership of pro-life organizations and ministries from across America. Others were National American religious representatives and many pro-life senators and lawyers who represented our nation's judicial system who all attended this memorial. Each of them had opportunities to speak. After the service, I was ushered into another room to pray for our nation and the unborn with all these people. So here I am standing with people from all different religious backgrounds. It was amazing to witness the unity over the nation in prayer for the unborn. It didn't matter what each of us believed religiously or what occupation we did. We all came together to stand up and pray and speak for those who cannot do it for themselves. We all agreed that each of us had a right to live life here on earth and that no one should take that right away as much as possible. We also prayed for healing for all the women and men who have lost unborn children to get the help they need. When I left Washington, D.C., I also got involved with Operation Outcry, a ministry of the Justice Foundation. Soon, my husband and I were both involved now. Our mission was to help people find justice and restoration in the area of abortion globally. Proverbs 31, 8 through 9 tells us, Speak up for the people who had no voice, for the rights of all the down and outers. Speak out for justice. Stand up for the poor and destitute. Some of these marches and events are still happening today. Take a look at what your community and nation are doing to see what you can do to be involved and experience this type of political justice in a healthy way. By the way, today is a pivotal day for me. It's my anniversary of when I went to Washington, D.C. to participate in these events. It's special to record a video about justice on this day. The cultural way. I've been watching the Longmire TV show, a modern day crime drama set in Wyoming. It has a lot of dealings with the Cheyenne Indian Reservation. Throughout this whole series, there are always jabs and remarks about the justice that was never given to them. A recent show had a girl get raped and her way of getting justice was to kill the person back who raped her. Also, you'll notice throughout the TV show, through the moment, through the comments of the Cheyenne people, that they are always trying to get back the justice that the white men took from them. Maybe you're part of a cultural heritage that is always seeking justice and there never seems to be any. 
Maybe you live in a nation where there is no justice and you can't seem to have hope for your particular living situation. Throughout the show, you also see that their way of getting back what was stolen from them is to seek revenge to get it back. This is their form of justice. God says that we shouldn't retaliate and take revenge. We are to let him handle the issues. I have a couple of scriptures here. Leviticus 19.18 Don't seek revenge or carry a grudge against any of your people. Love your neighbor as yourself. I am God. Proverbs 29.28 tells us that everyone Everyone tries to get help from the leader, but only God will give us justice. The personal way. Justice means righteousness, and righteousness means living right. Getting right with God in the area of abortion has restored my personal sense of right living between him and me. Being right with him is my personal form of justice. I've had the privilege of doing some awesome things to seek justice for all mankind and myself. But probably the most healthy, empowering way I find justice is when I spend time with him in my daily quiet times. This way of justice doesn't cost anything. You don't need anyone to help you do it. But what it does is give you the ability to hold your head up and go on in life. It's a moment with me and him alone. It's a supernatural feeling of renewed energy that he gives me, a release of endorphins in the atmosphere. Everyone is looking for justice through expressing their personal rights and freedom. God always wants to give us his justice by allowing us to have life here on earth with our personal rights and freedom. Because of his promise of justice, I can go on and face my daily life challenges. Proverbs 28.5 Justice makes no sense to the evil-minded. Those who seek God know it inside and out. And then I'd have another scripture here. It's Proverbs 8, 12 through 21. You can find me on Righteous Road. That's where I walk, at the intersection of Justice Avenue, handing out life to those who love me, filling their arms with life, armloads of life. Thanks for watching. Live life liberated.